Hi everyone, Matt here. Hope you're well, this is your Different Strokes Level 4 exercise session. Please take a moment to read through the notes and description that come attached to this exercise session suitable for those of you that can walk or stand independently uh, with use of walking or trekking poles if required. And welcome to today's session, which will be a standing cardio exercise session. And we're gonna do some resisted cardio, just body weight today, so no equipment needed, but we'll be getting our heart rate up and working our muscles at the same time. So we'll get started with a nice steady warm up, just gently lifting our knees. So after a warm up, we're going to start working through some different movement patterns that will keep our heart rate up nice and high. We're also working through our muscles, so a mix between strength and endurance work. Something to keep us fit and active today. Kicking your legs forwards, we'll turn at sides. Nice, lift the knee and stretch the leg out. At any point in this exercise session, if you need to hold on to something stable like a chair or your walking aids to support your balance and stability, please do so on any of the exercises. Good, and then lift your heels back behind you. So alternate legs, just gently picking up your heels. Well done, and then take those big side steps. So step across, legs apart, and then legs together again. Very good, well done. We take a step forwards and then a step backwards. A big step out in front and then pull the leg back. You can keep leading off the same leg or you can alternate, that's up to you. Well done, then swap to the other leg, so lead with the other one. Forwards or backwards, or keep alternating. Well done everyone, keep it going. Okay, fantastic. Hold on to something stable. Keep your shoulders up nice and tall. Just gently raise one leg away from your body. Out to the side. And let it come back down gently. Well done, turn around, swap to the other leg. Good, a few more to do. Well done everybody. Okay, well done, gently bend side to side. 
So reach one hand down the outside of the leg. Okay, good. And keep your shoulders up again and gently rotate your body. So twist to the hips and shoulders. Rotate round. Follow your head round with the shoulders if you can. Improve your rotation. If you're feeling a bit dizzy, just continue looking forwards and gently move your shoulders. Okay, good. Bend your knees softly, put your hands on your thighs and just reach your hands to your knees and then bring your shoulders up again, down to the knees and up. Try not to curve your back as you lean down, so stick your bottom out and back up again. If you feel you have a bit more range, then go into your knees, slide down your legs a bit further. But again, try not to curve your back, stick your bottom out, keep your back nice and flat like a table. Good, keep going everyone. Okay, great, well done. Just gently reach your arms out in front, turn it sides. And then push your arms out to the side. Good, then loosely raise your arms up and let them swing back down again. So just keep your arms nice and loose. Good, and cross your arms over and out. Crossing the arms over each other. And then reach your hand up to the shoulder, we'll turn it sides left to right. Right to left. Okay, and then pause there, well done. Grab yourselves a drink. And then we'll get on to our first circuit. Okay, so we are doing four exercises back to back on our circuit. It's gonna start with a cardio exercise and then go to a leg exercise, muscle work, back to cardio and then onto arms. Okay, and we're gonna go through the circuit three times before we go on to the next one. Okay, so our first exercise, two options for the first exercise. We'll just go through these one by, um, sorry, as we get there, rather than giving you all the exercises to remember. So first one, you can either do a march, high knees, or a jog on the spot, whichever you prefer suited to your ability. Okay, so we're gonna be doing that for 30 seconds, and then move on to the next exercise for 30 seconds. 
So we'll start in 15 seconds time to have that one more little bit of rest. Three, two, and one. So away you go. 30 seconds of marching on the spot or gentle jogging on the spot. Doing what you can. Well done. Keep it going, 15 seconds to go. And in five seconds, we're going to squat with a knee lift. Three, two, one. Squat, knee lift. Squat, knee lift. Good, keep that going. Squat down and lift your knee. Ten more seconds. Good, you can either go back to the steps on the spot or two feet, little jumps on the spot. Good, 15 more seconds, keep it going. And three seconds, we're going to a push up against the wall. Three, two, one. So hands against the wall, bend your elbows in and push. Let me find another wall so you can see. Bend and push. You can do this on the floor if you wish. Or against the table. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, good work. Well done, take a breather. So I'm gonna take 30 seconds rest and we'll go for a second set and have three. Have longer rest if you need to. That rest goes quickly. Okay, so we'll be straight back into jogging on the spot or marching. In five seconds, four, three, two, and one, way you go. So marching or jogging. This is the second set, so same exercise. Keeping that heart rate up. We'll change the squats in five seconds. Four, three, two, and one, it was a squat, lift the knee. Squat, lift the knee. Good, let's keep going. Halfway through. Three, two, and one, back to marching or jump on the spot, whichever you prefer. And then finally, on to those press ups. Three, two, one, let's go. Push and push away. Time. Well done if you want. Fantastic. Take a rest. Okay, take 30 seconds. And then we'll do that for our final set.
15 to go. So same exercises one last time. Do what you can. Keep up the high tempo, let's go. Jog in or march in on the spot. Ten more seconds, nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one. Squat, lift that knee. Squat, lift the knee. Good, let's keep it going. 30 seconds, hard work on this one, working those muscles and cardio together. Five seconds more. Good, back to marching or jumping on the spot. Ten more seconds. Keep it going all the way to the end. And we also press ups one more time. Three, two, one. Okay, let's go. All those press ups. Halfway through. Keep going, everyone. Okay, brilliant, well done, fantastic work. Have a longer rest and we'll do our last circuit in just a couple of minutes. Okay, get your breath back now. So, if you wish to repeat that circuit, so you end up doing four sets all together, you can press pause now and redo that one if you wish, or you can tag it on at the end of the next circuit. If you think one circuit's plenty, stop the video now and cool down. That's fine too. That could work everyone. We'll have one more minute to recover, and then we'll go on to our next circuit of cardio resistance. So again, four exercises, 30 seconds each. Working our full body, cardio twice, lower body and upper body. Okay, so for our cardio exercise, what we're going to do, first of all, a couple of options again. We're either going to do a step star, which is Step and arms out, you can do that alternate sides. That's like a stepping star jump. The other option is, for those of you able to do so, be to jump with the legs out and then bring the legs back in. You can bring your arms out as well to make it the star. Jumping jack or star jump, however you wish. In and out, okay. And then we'll be on to our leg exercise. So we'll start that in just 15 seconds time. We're using the wall again for our upper body exercise. Okay, you can use the floor if you wish, a lot harder on the floor. Use a wall by all means. So, ready to go in five, four, three, two, and one. So where you go, step and star shape. Halfway through.
Okay, good. So we're going to take a lunge and then rotate into the knee. So lunge and twist your body into the knee. That's good. Hold on to something if you need support with that one. Ten more seconds, we'll go back to the star. Okay, good. Back to the star shape. Let's go. Five more seconds. Okay, good. Coming back to the wall, we want one hand high and one hand low. Do your press and then swap your hands over. One hand high, one hand low. Continue with that. Good work, everybody. And take your rest. Brilliant, well done. There's one set of three done on that one. Very good. Right, 15 more seconds rest, and we'll be in for set two. Take longer rest if you need to. Remember, just press pause, play when you're ready. Otherwise, three, two, one, let's go. Star shape. Ten more seconds. And lunge with the twist, let's go. Lunge, rotate in. Lunge and rotate. Okay, well done, back to the stars. Let's go, step and star. Well done, everyone, keep it going. Do it how you can. Five more seconds, and on to the alternate shoulder push. Let's go. So one hand high, one hand low, into the wall and push away. Good. Last couple. Well done, everybody. Well done. Fantastic. Great work. Take that rest again. 30 seconds from now. Get your recovery in once more. So we do this last set. The four exercises back to back for 30 seconds. And then we'll just get a couple of core exercises to finish today. Okay, five more seconds, rest. Four, three, two, and one. Here we go, last four exercises of the circuit. Step and star, or jump and star.
Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Onto that lunge with a rotation. Twist into the knee. And back to the stars, so wherever you go. Step and star, or jump, give your legs only, remember, or with the arms. Tempo of your choice, whatever you're able to do. Ten more seconds, and we'll be on that shoulder push. Okay, good. Shoulder push last time. Into the wall and push away. Swap your hands over. One hand high, one hand low. Last rep. Okay, and relax. Well, good work, everyone. Fantastic. Grab yourselves a drink, and then we'll do our core balance exercise to finish. So it's good to do balance core-based exercises after a cardio workout, especially a muscular one, because our body's a bit fatigued, we're a bit tired, a lot more worn out than we were half an hour ago. Um, so if we can then challenge our balance, then we're going to be even more tired to start with, which means we're going to have to make our body concentrate that little bit harder, demand a bit more from our stabilizers to keep us upright and steady. So please do use your chair or walking aids if you need to. This safety is the important thing, but we're a bit tired and that's when accidents can happen. So let's train now while we're tired to prevent them. So we're going to go for a single leg stand, holding on to your Object, chair if you need to. Onto one leg and hold your balance there. When you feel confident to do so, you can come down to a couple of one fingers or none at all. Focus on something nice and still in front of you. And 10 more seconds with this leg. Three, two, one, straight into the other leg. So have a swap. Hold on to something if you need to. And again, gently go through, taking a finger off or two, or all your hand. Focus on something still, hold your balance. Keep catching your breath from your cardio. Three, two, and one. Good, bring the foot down. And the last one. We go one foot directly in front of the other, so like we're in line with our feet. Again, holding on to something if you need to. Shoulders up nice and tall. Just try and hold your balance there on the spot. If you don't find that challenging at all, you can gently rotate your shoulders. Very nice, and then put the other foot forwards. Again, hold your shoulders up nice and tall. Add the rotation if you need to. Okay, and stop there. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. Really good work today. Fantastic. We've done so good and well done keeping that cardio up. It's a bit of a daunting one to click on when it says cardio, but you've done it. You've finished. Superb. Well done. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye.